This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Hi, my name is Eero Kafetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, the only podcast which delivers cutting-edge conversion strategies from the online trenches straight to your earbuds. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. I also invite you to grab a free copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. And now, once again, it's time to claim your list building lifestyle. Welcome back to another edition of the List Building Lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fitz. The internet marketing space is being flooded with crypto biz ops, as, you, as we call them, uh, the business opportunities that are focused strategically on teaching you how to mine Bitcoin. These programs are exploding right now. My Facebook feed is just stuffed with them. And you know, it makes you wonder, do they really work? Should you really be paying attention to this whole crypto craze? Because it could be just another fad. And so I feel this is a really important thing to discuss in today's episode, simply because crypto will make a lot of money to a lot of people. And I predict that this summer alone, it will probably be the hottest thing you could be doing in your online business, regardless of, of the kind of opportunities you've been promoting until now. And the reason I feel this way is because the one thing that we know about this market, the business opportunity market, is the fact that this market just loves a new thing. This market loves a shiny new object. And even though business opportunities revolving around cryptocurrencies are not new, They've been around for a long, long time. In fact, I remember receiving requests to run traffic to these offers as early as three years ago. They just, they didn't hit that sort of prime. They weren't ripe at the time. And so now when China has finally incorporated Bitcoin into its economy, Bitcoin value is, is sky high. It's rising every day. In fact, if you had one Bitcoin like, Five years ago, you could have cashed in like a $2 million profit or something. Of course, these numbers are, are really blown up out of proportions, but this is something that a friend of mine told me. He said that if you invested in Bitcoin as, as little as five years ago, you could be a cash millionaire if you cash it in today. So Bitcoin is definitely on the rise. I'm not sure how many more people will get rich off of Bitcoin as far as investing in them, but there's definitely... And now a whole new sub-industry in the business opportunity space of programs trying to teach people how to invest in Bitcoin, raising Bitcoin awareness, and promising to double your Bitcoin in 60 days or less. And the people who, who we know as leaders, you know, people who are really quick to promote a bunch of different business opportunities and always seem to make a lot of money, you know, they are collecting as much as $5,000 per day right now doing nothing but Bitcoins. Now, this, this doesn't mean that, you know, you should just jump on, on the crypto craze and abandon everything else. Not at all. But I feel there is a room for you to use Bitcoin BizOps as another easy income stream in your business without abandoning your primary business opportunity. And the reason I feel this way is because it's very easy to market something that's brand new. It's very easy to market something that the market isn't used to seeing yet. It's very easy to uh, get people to join a business opportunity that revolves around a concept they have heard of, but they don't quite understand how it works. And crypto fits this description perfectly because honestly, I still don't understand how the hell do they mine for Bitcoin. I don't get it. Like, how do they come up with the Bitcoin? How do they find it? How do they create it? Like, is there a, a, a strategy? I mean, all I know is that there's there's uh, farms out there full of servers and computers that all they do, they mine for Bitcoin 24-7. And you have to have a special permit for that. So basically, it's kind of like the underground society of people who, who now have access to this digital currency that, you know, 99.99% of the people in the world do not have access to. And all of a sudden, you know, these biz ops open the doors for the average Joe to start investing in Bitcoin. And it's beautiful. I think it's really, really cool because we haven't seen anything like that. The market hasn't seen anything like that ever before prior to this crazy, crazy wave. And even though these aren't brand new, like I said, they go back as early as two, three, four years back. However, it is really interesting to observe how the market is finally ready 
the market is finally picking up and catching up with uh, this trend. And, you know, whoever gets off the RAS and capitalizes on this trend this summer will most likely profit hand over fist. This isn't the first time that a product that was created several years earlier explodes into the marketplace. Another example is Disney. You know, Walt Disney drew up Bambi and Snow White and a lot of these, you know, classics way, way, way back in 1930s and 1920s. However, it wasn't until 1940s, 1960s, and then again in 1990s that all these cartoons, you know, took off and made Walt Disney and his legacy a lot of money. In fact, Bambi alone was relaunched, I think, four different times. And every single time, Walt Disney was hoping for Bambi to bring in enough cash flow to save his company that was constantly on the brink of bankruptcy. And his brother Roy would always try to manage the books in a way so they don't go under. But, you know, it's interesting to observe how Oftentimes, the market isn't just ready for something. And then a couple of years later, all of a sudden, the same product, no change was made to the, to the product whatsoever, finally explodes. So what we can conclude is that the I don't know if, if, if crypto biz ops will stick. I really don't. I don't know if they're going to be here six months from today. I don't know if the market is going to just abandon you know, the crypto biz ops as, as it has abandoned a lot of the other tactics like matrixes and stuff like that. But what I do know is that every now and again, the market presents us with an opportunity. The market pretty much just gives us an opportunity and says, hey, right now this is hot and this may or may not be a fad. Because sometimes, well, I'd say most of the time, you know, these things are fads. You know, they they come in and they go. And then for the next 10 years, somebody tries to simply recreate the fad with no success. And these are usually the people that kind of become overnight millionaires and, and then spend the next decade trying to get all that success back instead of moving on. But, you know, sometimes these fads do become something more than, than a fad. Sometimes they become industries. And so Bitcoin, as much as I want to say it may become an industry, it really depends on how the, the cryptocurrency will behave. It really depends on what the economy, uh, the kind of turn the economy would take. So for now, Bitcoin is really hot. China loves Bitcoin. China uh, just uh, allows every single business in the country to use Bitcoin for transactions. And, you know, Chinese economy is pretty much the largest and most stable economy today. So naturally, Bitcoin is the, the talk of the town, you know, it's the hottest uh, girl at the ball. So we'll see what the future holds. But definitely, definitely, if you need to make some quick money, you may want to jump on Bitcoin, check it out and uh, see what you can do with it. Because, you know, come this fall or come this winter the situation might be different. Something may happen. Uh, you know, some government may want to install some regulations to try and control Bitcoin, which is, I mean, right now, Bitcoin is the only currency that's not controlled by any government. It's the only currency that no government in the world has to say in, you know, of the value that it has. Sure. I mean, it's the same currency that serial killers used to get paid. And, you know, you can actually like buy people into slavery using it, buy guns or drugs or on, online at the dark net, which is like the secret internet. But, you know, that's only uh, that's that's only a small percentage of the people who use Bitcoin right now. You know, Bitcoin is becoming a, a major force in the marketplace. A lot of people prefer to get paid in Bitcoin because their money appreciates with time. So as of the moment of recording this episode, if you're after making some quick money, then you should definitely look into joining one of those uh, Bitcoin biz ops such as Jetcoin, iCoin Pro, Bitcoin Pro, or anything else. I personally recommend if you are considering uh, joining a, a, biz op, a Bitcoin biz op, then you reach out to my good friend Ryan Hauser. Ryan Hauser is somebody who is just a master at uh, cryptocurrencies, at matrices, at understanding all the technological mumbo jumbo that people like you and I really, really hate to deal with. And so he, he knows what which programs are best. He knows where you're going to get legitimate Bitcoins, where you're not going to get scammed, how you can get Bitcoins for the lowest price. So Ryan knows the ins and outs of everything Bitcoin. And I recommend you reach out to him, Google Ryan University, or simply find Ryan Hauser on Facebook. If he's the guy with a beard and he's bald and basically... You know, he's a badass when it comes to Bitcoin. So if you want to join a Bitcoin biz up, I highly recommend joining Ryan 
Hauser. And um, besides that, I'm hopeful that you find this episode really helpful. It's really different from the kind of episodes I've done until now, which were mostly educational. But, you know, this one turned out to be sort of like newsworthy announcement. And, um, you know, if it helps and, and you made uh, and you made some money, I'm happy. And if it didn't, just write to me and, and say that the episode sucked. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of The List Building Lifestyle. I'm your host, Ewa Kafix. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for listening to The List Building Lifestyle. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play to never miss an episode. Because who knows, just one conversion tactic we share on the show might double your list and double your business. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. And don't forget to claim your complimentary copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. This is Igor Kafetz, and until next time we talk, have a good one. This is the podcastfactory.com.